Wildcat fans, I'm Corey Holmes with Playing on Purple, and we're back again. Today we're with Paige Dillmore from the cross country team. We're going to ask her a couple questions to get to know her, and then we're going to do an emoji challenge. So let's get right into it. What's your favorite memory or moment at Weber State? Okay, so that's really hard because there's a lot of good ones, and we have a lot of fun day to day, and coach pulling tricks or just the girls are really funny, but I'd have to say my favorite memory so far is just this past weekend, we won conference for cross country, so that was really exciting. If you could play any other sport collegiately, what would you play and why? Okay, so I've never been a contact sport athlete, even when I was little, I didn't do any of that, and so I really wanted to play soccer because I just admire those athletes so much, just their endurance and running up and down the field while also the skill like with the ball and stuff, I just think that'd be so fun to be so fun. If you could witness any athletic event, past, present, or future, what would it be and why? Okay. So I love feel-good sports movies, like they're definitely my favorite genre. And my one of my favorites is Secretariat, about the horse racing. And my favorite scene in that movie is when he pulls away in the last race of the Triple Crown, I'm not sure which one that is. But he pulls away and just like keeps like spreading the gap on the second place horse who is like supposed to win by a lot, and it just like gives me butterflies in my stomach because I just love I love that. So I would definitely go back to witness that race. No, that's so true. I actually watched that movie this weekend, and I thought <laughs> like so every good. time you watch it, you just get yeah, those feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Chills. Oh, I love it. yeah it's so good. If you could bring one musician back from the dead, who would you? Okay, so I don't really have like a favorite dead musician or anything, but at camp this year, one of my teammates said that her biggest fear was Michael Jackson. And so if I could bring a dead musician back, I would just bring Michael Jackson back just so we could scare her at practice. <laughs> but that'd be kind of mean, but it'd be worth it. Who is your favorite person in the whole wide world? Okay, so my favorite person, kind of cliche, but my younger sister, she's 16 and she's my best friend and she's so funny and lighthearted and just everything that I kind of want to be, she is and so we bounce each other out and I just, I love her so much. Now what we're going to do is we're going to each pick five emojis and we're going to recreate them with our or our own. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with me today. Be sure to follow us all on social media. The links will be down in the description below. And be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Playing on Purple. Go Wildcats!